guys are like two goats in a rodeo. Yeah, we are. You should see us slinging glide beds. Holy Christmas. Giant. I cut a piece of tungsten. How? Really good bolt cutters. Do you rock it? The bolt cutters? <laughs> I think so. But I got my piece of tungsten. A 1 8 drop shot weight. Pop it I'm gonna glue it right there. Can you do it on the bottom one? No, it's like, is that where it should go? I think more towards the poly would be better, but. We'll glue it in there. Right th Glue it in that you sweet spot. Some of that no. Yep. That's boat tuning and hair jig tying day. Can we drink all day while we do it? You can do whatever you want. I'll join you. You're kind of the boss. I'm the boss. Yeah. Boss hog. Wow, he sold 30 of his release baits. Don't worry, bro, boys and girls. Some I'm missile sure makes a glide bait? Everyone makes a glide bait. It's a craze. Look at us. I'm gluing a $200 glide bait. Uh, Rich Lindgren wants me to be. Pretty sure this is going to fall out. Like, I don't know how good super glue sticks to tungsten. It won't fall out. Or we could back these out. Should back those out of turn? Just, like, do, yeah, do you got turn. your pliers? Yeah, I got my pliers for sure. I wish Adam would have gave me my barter back. He could be throwing the little one. Catch me. Dude, those are like five cent fucking things to buy at a hardware store. That's a half turn. Oh, a half turn's a lot. Yeah, a half turn. I could make one of these. Could whittle one tomorrow, probably. Just whittle your own blank. Wonder if it matters what kind of. I'm gonna do that. What wood are glide baits made out of? It's not balsa. It's poplar. <laughs> yeah, pretty sure that's uh. You can make glide balsam fir. Out of this looks like a four-year-old carved it. <laughs> when you start looking at it, maybe they did. This one's good. Like, we got a good custom on her. Where's my damn lure? Is that big enough? Oh my god, it sinks like a brick. Nope, just perfect rate of fall in all my glide baiting experience. Oh yeah. Oh. Too quick? Yeah, and you said put a heavier one in. Put a heavier one? No. Don't hook the tree this time. It was giving you a waypoint. Fish. What are you casting at? Flats. I just cast anywhere. You don't have to just cast at bass. <laughs> they swim. <laughs> I'm leaving. What are you casting at? Bass. <laughs> like perfect. Look at that. It's coming up like the Tate Daddy. Oh my god. I knew that was a good one. Why did I ever sell it? You want to buy it? You still want it? Can I buy it back? I'll let you know in about four casts here. <laughs> I'm not trading. The stump swam away. Oh. Is that you or Tate Daddy? We gotta go to Texas. Got him. It's a small mouth. No, oh, no, it's a big, large mouth. <laughs> How many casts was that? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I did. When have they ever eaten a bull shad? I know lots of people, but that's their favorite one. Who? I don't know. Someone. The guy that sold them to you? No, they sold out of them and like, I'm not going to get any of them. 
We sold out of George Foreman grills and those came out too and they ain't that good. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Six something. You know? The what? That guy has a cute wife and uh... Oh yeah. Sweaty crying. Well it's clear out here, right? Yeah. Oh, I landed right in a stump, Bruce. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Why did you let me do that? Won't get that out. It's eight or nine. Eight or nine. Oh, there. That's that. Right up there. See that big right one? Mm hmm. That's that one, Bruce. Perfect. Do you need to scope for your chicken snag, or can I grab it? No, her? <laughs> get it. You dang ran us right up on him, boy. No, we're 40 feet away yet. Your splash scared it to the bottom for f sake. <clears throat> ah! Oh, that echo. Oh, you're gonna catch it. You're worse than my co-angler, you fall off. Golly, that's a bag. Dig that thing. You want me to lift one? I don't think I can boat flop, can I? Yeah, oh, yeah I can. <laughs> You're so awesome, Bruce. I think it's a spotted bass. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Dude, look. Look at this. Where's your pliers? Oh, no. He's got a freaking giant shad in his mouth. Dude, I think we left that at home. Oh. Did you bring it with? Pliers? No. We don't have pliers? I think I forgot it in your, when you were messing with your thing. You don't have two pliers? No, I don't have anything, Bruce. I just have skills. That's it. I guess we're not seeing what the real life... Just fit it out in the live one, I'm sure. Look how big that thing is. How big do you think it is? Like oh, yeah. That was mint. Spotted bass. <laughs> We got him! <laughs> <laughs> How cool is that? New juice, right when Brucey wakes up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought it was like a pike at first, so it was so long and white when it came up. Spotted bass, bud. Bottom. Pretty sure that was a fry garter. <laughs> <laughs> but that thing is <laughs> Well, you don't know this lake like I do. No, obviously not. No, nothing fun about that. Rubber on your kneecaps, bud. Here, let me see your glide bait. Put some juice on there. Yeah, you. if you sunscreen them, they cut through the water better. Yeah. Here, lube her up. Nope. I'm gonna do that to my buddy Brucey. But I. I don't want to get sunburn. It's two hundred dollars. <laughs> That's four hundred Canadian. You didn't have to wake out those crappie fishing families, bud. You gotta wake them up? Oh yeah. That's how we roll. The guy's loading up his flare gun.